Well hey YouTubers, it's the 12th of January, it's 2010 and it's about time for another collection video and here for you right now, here comes collection number 5. Well welcome back to another collection video and to start collection number 5 we have the Thrustmaster Freestyler board for the Xbox. A great for snowboarding and skateboarding games although this can take a little bit of time to get used to but it really is worth it in the end. It's an, a, an awesome innovative controller, it's very unique and another excellent idea from the great Thrustmaster, it's just brilliant. Next up we have uh, Bambino's basketball tabletop game. I mean this is such a cool, cool looking item. I mean this was released over 30 years ago, now back in 1979, but would you really know it? It's futuristic looks and thrilling gameplay is a must have for any collector of these types of games and a super game from the awesome Bambino. This next item is a little star with twin speakers, great sound effects and fun gameplay. Firefox F7 has to be one of the best. I've spent many hours on this and I never tire of it. And if you're interested, you can see a review on this from video games and consoles from the loft in season two, part five. And as you can see, I've still got the box, original manuals, and the game is practically in mint condition and it really is a great item for any collector. Well next up we have Jumanji and I really enjoyed the film all those years ago back in 1995, I really can't believe it was that long ago and I bought this handheld, I've never opened it, it's in mint condition and one day I'll get it out and I'll review it. Whenever I see this next item, this tabletop game, or even hear about it, it always brings a smile to my face. Uh, Grandstand's Caveman has quirky gameplay, has great characters, simple controls, and will always bring a smile to your face or even make you laugh. A real must have for any collector. And you can also see a review on this great tabletop from video games, consoles from the loft, season two, part nine. Next we have the double player wireless head to head system for the NES which is an excellent attachment and if you love the NES which I'm sure most of you do it's worth looking for. It can be used with most games and not only that two of you can have a wireless controller each and even sit over 8 meters away and the controllers will still work. Well you can look for a review on this in video games and consoles from the loft season 1 part 3. Next we have CGL's Grand Prix. I really love this game, especially the attention to detail with the racing car look. It really has set the scene. Uh, it's got simple controls, simple gameplay, and it's a very smart looking handheld. And you can also see a review on this from Video Games and Consoles from the Loft, Season 2, Part 9. If there are any old retro handhelds to collect, Tigers are some of the best. I really, really love collecting them and, uh, and have enjoyed playing the real old classic games on these fun and portable handhelds. Uh, the games that I'm showing you here are Paperboy, uh, Hang On, Gladiators, Star Wars Jedi Dex, Sonic 2, Thunderblade and Tempin Bowling and they're just brilliant.
Well, back to Grandstand again, and here we have the big soccer game, which is very similar to the Entex soccer game I showed this weekend in video games and consoles from the loft. This one has an LED screen and much better sound effects. It also has simple controls and is great for a two-player competition. And now for one of my other favourites within my entire collection, uh, this is Donkey Kong Hockey from Nintendo's Game & Watch series. Uh, this game I managed to pick up from eBay a, a while back and it came out of a batch of new old stock, uh, which is really cool and I'm glad I picked one up. And you can also see a review on this in Video Games & Consoles from the Loft, Season 2, Part 6. This next item is another item I picked up on eBay about two years ago and this is the Micro Genius IQ1000 which is one of many hundreds of Famicom uh, clones and as you can see it looks more like a, a Mega Drive um, it also comes with a wireless controller system and also a load of games, uh, some have got uh, multiple games on some of the uh, cartridges there as you can probably see uh, but to be honest, I'd much rather have uh, an original, official Famicom computer, and I'm still looking for one. Well, I said I'd never buy another DS, and I did. This is the new DSi in red, and it, it's an excellent console. Um, I love the, the new extra features, such as the two new cameras and the built-in software. It, it's also lighter, more nimble and extremely streamlined. Um, it, it's certainly better than the original DS, but as for the light, uh, I wouldn't say that there's too much between them, but nonetheless, it's still a great console. And up next is a small but fun handheld from Tandy, and this is Dinosaur from 1990. What is really strange about this game is that the music in the background is London Bridge is falling down, which is uh, weird enough. Uh, but the object of the game is that you're a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and then you have to capture the Pterodactyls as they fall from the sky. Well, in 2004-2005, uh, McDonald's were giving away these Sonic handhelds within uh, Happy Meals. Uh, and yes, I wasn't the one buying the Happy Meals, I, I managed to get these off of eBay. And they're little fun sports games with mini LED screens and simple controls, but really, really good fun. And I've got nine in total, and it's a nice little collection of Sonic games. Well, second to last today is the rather unusual and rather rare Game Genie from Codemasters, which advertises the fantastic adventures of Dizzy. Although it has this advertising, it still does the same job as any normal Game Genie, but it makes for an interesting collector's item. And last but no means least today, here's Stargate from Entex, a fabulous tabletop game. And if you would like to see a review on this, then you can see a video in Video Games and Consoles from The Loft, Season 3, Part 1. Well, once again, we're at the end of another collection video. I'm really enjoying making these series of videos, and I'll try and fit in collection number six in at the end of February, and I hope you'll stay tuned for that. I'd also like to just mention that there'll be another brand new section to the channel coming very shortly, uh, which will feature my top 10 video games on every system that I own, and I hope you'll stay tuned for that as well. Well, have a great week, and once again, thanks very much for watching.